Hello, my name is Jenny McLeanan, and I will be talking about the country Venezuela. Venezuela is located in, a, in South America. It has a capital called Caras, and it's next to the Caribbean Sea, which is its main geographical feature that people know. But there's more, like the Ornica Plains and the Guana Highlands. It also holds two different mountains, the Merida Mountains and the Parima Mountains. But let's go see what you can actually look, go see. There's two main national parks that this country is known for. The Moshima National Park and the Mercoy National Park. Both holds to several different marine life and you should go look at them. Next, you might go visit an island. The largest island off of Venezuela would be the island Merida. Merida is, holds more than 50 different beaches on it. Pretty cool. Next, you might go see a mountain. Mount Rima is a tabletop mountain located in Venezuela that holds to 9,220 feet elevation. It's pretty tall. But its highest attraction is the Angel Falls. Angel Falls is the highest uninterrupted waterfall in the entire world. It stands at 3,208 feet. And the locals there used to say that if you fell off it, you'd be falling off the highest point because it's Angel Falls. Next, we're going to learn about their practices. Um, just like the U.S., the Vene Venezuela has a constitution which holds all of their laws. Um, one of those being religion. Um, a huge thing in America is their freedom of religion, and Venezuela also has that. You can do any religion that you want. 90% of Venezuelans are Roman Catholic, but not all of them, and that is just fine. One of the main things on this screen that you can see is their coat of arms. That coat of arms is extremely important to this country. They hold to it very true. In the top, in the middle, is the red part. That red is a wheat. The wheat stands for the 20 states that were held in this country at the time. Um, but it also stands for wealth. Next to it would be the yellow, which is the what, three main weapons, and the two flags, which would stand for the triumph and war. The blue at the bottom would be the wild white horse, which stands for independence and freedom, which is the biggest part because that's the most hold true to them. Um, at the top above it would be the two cornucopias wrapped in itself, which stand for wealth. They have abundance of wealth, and that is shown there. Next to it, next to the middle portion would be the olive branch and the palm. At the bottom, it'd be tied together with a band that shows to all three colors of their state flag that they hold true to. It also has their two main independent um, dates up on it for the independence of freedom. But they have more than that. They other, um, a huge perspective in this country would be their hospitality. They hold to that so dearly that any guests that come into their house, they have to host. But they also, because of their hospitality, it wouldn't just be like us guests, it would be their friends outside of their family. So if you were invited there, they would be hosting you. So it would be normal for you to give them a gift. A most common gift would be the orcas on the screen. They were a big blessing to people if you sent them before your arrival. arrival. Also a huge thing for them would be that you would not arrive on time. You would arrive to 15 to 20 minutes later than their asked time because that way you wouldn't show that you were eager and just waiting to be invited. Also, after leaving, a handwritten note would be a, a most preferable. Um, it's huge to them to show a blessing before you leave. They're also super formal in this country. So unlike America where you would just be like, hi, Bob, you would introduce themselves as Mr. or Mrs. But you would also say good afternoon, good morning before talking to them because they, they want to be, you know, respected. Um, you, you would hardly ever call anyone by their first name unless you were super close to them, which brings something that's very important to them as well, family. They, it was not uncommon for their, their long distance relatives to live fairly close to them. They love family. Um, 
their long distance relatives would live even on the same street and they would hold them fairly often. Thank you for listening to me talk about Venezuela as I talked about their geographical features and places, their practices, products, and perspectives, and how it's like America. Thank you. Okay.